Cambodia's uh, history and culture is firmly anchored back in the, the uh, Khmer Empire, which was sort of 11th to 13th century, um, based in Angkor Wat, which a lot of people are familiar with. Um, the empire spanned the whole of Southeast Asia, so Thailand, parts of Malaysia, even Laos, Vietnam, um, as well as Cambodia. In, in the mid 19th century, the, uh, the Khmers looked to the French um, for some protection um, from the pressures being exerted on by the Siam Empire and, and by the Vietnamese. Um, so the French arrived in the mid 19th century and um, established themselves, established Cambodia as a protectorate. Uh, that, was, that was when the Cambodian borders were probably first um, defined and Cambodia became a country. The French were here for approximately 100 years um, overseeing the country. In the, the mid 20th century, in 1953, um, King Sihanouk achieved independence from the French um, and, and that led into another of Cambodia's golden periods. In the late 60s, there was a lot of internal political pressure, a lot of it as a result of what was going on globally, especially with the war in Vietnam, the, the American war in Vietnam. Um, and that resulted in a coup in 1970. Um, Ron Noll took over the government for five years. At the same time, there was, there was a growing communist influence in the countryside, and that, that grew into the Khmer Rouge uh, who took over in 1975, they cleared out Phnom Penh, uh, marched everyone out um, with the aim of establishing a, an ultra-Marxist sort of agrarian society. The threat posed by the Khmer Rouge to the Vietnamese communists meant that in 1979 the Vietnamese annexed Cambodia and as they marched into Cambodia they pushed the population over to the, to the Thai border. Um, so a, a large percentage of the population ended up living in border camps over there. At the end of the 1980s, as the, the Vietnamese um, support from communist Russia um, dropped off as a result of the, the, uh, the fall of the wall and, and of communism in Russia, um, it meant that Vietnam could no longer afford to, to uh, to annex Cambodia, so they withdrew. And at the same time, there was an agreement between some of the main uh, political parties that, that had established themselves in the border camps uh, to work with the UN to um, establish a new government within Cambodia. So the United Nations established UNTAC in 1991. Uh, UNTAC administered the country for a couple of years up to the elections in 1993, which were held under UN supervision. Um, and that was really the, the start of the new democracy within Cambodia.